the mumps um, is a transmittable infection and a disease uh, that can be uh, spread uh, through respiratory droplets. It's caused by a virus. And uh, whenever we, if, if you are infected with this uh, virus, whenever you speak or cough or sneeze, especially if you are close enough, these droplets can float in the air or you can get in contact with saliva and get infected. This is a, a, a disease that can cause uh, mostly uh, inflammation of the salivary glands that are in front of your ears which is called parotitis, uh, but there are other manifestations and there are people who may get it and are not even aware or may not get the inf inflammation of the parotids and just get some general symptoms like feeling sick, uh, having some um, ache, aches on their body uh, and sometimes getting a fever. Uh, so uh, for those cases, it's, it's harder to identify and and diagnose. Unfortunately, there is not a specific therapy that we can give nowadays uh, to treat the illness. So more than supportive care, which means following the course of the disease and managing the complications if they happen. Uh, but most people will recover within 10 days maximum and even shorter after they get the, the inflammation of the salivary glands, the parotids. Uh, that's the more common course that people should recover in most cases. The current recommendations are after you develop that swelling, usually you need to stay five days away. That's when the, the risk of transmission drops significantly and it's unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely that you will transmit the disease. If you are concerned about this, the first thing that you need to do is look at your vaccination history to see if you already had uh, your mom, uh, it's called the MMR vaccine, uh, which is, includes uh, the vaccine for moms and a, couple to, uh, and a couple over two in a single vaccine. So there is a lot of misunderstanding about the uh, uh, vaccines and, and in the past uh, uh, some misleading research, and by this I mean they demonstrated that this was not true research and, uh, uh, link some types of vaccine to autism, for example, and, and that association was not true. So it was not consistent when, when it was uh, studied. So, and, and those studies were found to be fake. So uh, unfortunately, that may have led to uh, the um, misbeliefs or misunderstanding uh, about the consequences of, of vaccination. Uh, I will advise, of course, there are precautions uh, uh, that need to be taken to use a vaccine pro vaccines properly. For this type of vaccine, you shouldn't be taking it if you are pregnant or if you are immunocompromised, but those are things that you can discuss with your healthcare provider. What the CDC recommends is to, to get your complete vaccination, which is usually two doses of the vaccine. In situations of outbreak, in coordination with the health department uh, or, or with uh, coordination with some health care institutions, sometimes a third shot or a booster shot is recommended. But it's not the standard. Most people who get the mobs will recover, uh, but it's a transmissible illness, can be prevented with vaccine. If you are concerned about getting exposed in the future, look at your vaccination status make sure that you are up to date with your vaccines. The way that this illness is transmitted is uh, through respiratory droplets. So being very close to someone who has the mumps uh, 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 for a very long period of time uh, will represent a higher risk of infection.